Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to another what I eat in a day video to lose weight. I've made quite a few of these before so we'll link them down below if you are interested. I've made a bit of a playlist and we'll add this one to it as well. But today is just a typical day. I'm actually working at home today. It's a Wednesday so just a midweek day in the week and I thought that I would share what I eat to lose weight. I know you guys really enjoy these types of videos. Hopefully it gives you some ideas of you know what you could have for breakfast or snacks, lunch and dinner. I'll show you how I make everything, all the ingredients needed as well and yeah I really hope that you do enjoy this video. To start off with I will share what I'm going to have for breakfast and today I'm going to make an omelette. I feel like an omelette is a bit of a go-to for me especially in the summer because it's super easy, it's fairly light, you can throw anything that you've got in there and it keeps you really full as well and plus it's sin free and low in calories. So I feel like this is a bit of a summery omelette so in today's omelette I'm going to have some cherry tomatoes so I've got about four cherry tomatoes that I've just quartered some ham, um, a couple of mushrooms and then a couple of courgettes and then I've got around 15 grams of low fat cheese here and then I'll just add in a couple of whisked eggs as well. So I've just put the pan on to a medium heat spray with some fry light and then initially I'll just add in the courgette and the mushrooms and I'll just fry that off for, I don't know, about three minutes or something, not very long at all. So I fried that off for, I don't know, about three minutes or something. And then I'm just going to throw in the cherry tomatoes and the ham. So I normally just like scatter the ham around. And then I've just whisked um, two eggs in here just with some salt and pepper. And then I'll just pour that over. Grate some of the cheese on top. I can of course leave the cheese out but honestly I feel like an omelette tastes so much better with cheese on top. You don't really need hardly any cheese as well so I mean what's this? This is 15 grams so if you're following Slimming World it's around half a portion of one of your healthy extra A's. Then I'll just leave that cook for another couple of minutes and it's done. Whilst the omelette is finishing I'm just going to make myself a coffee. So I spoke about this coffee machine before, I love it. I brought it in lockdown, I got it for a fantastic price and yeah, saved me so much money on buying coffees um, because it actually grinds the beans for you as well. So I'm just going to have a normal coffee and um, I actually drink it black. So sometimes I'll add a little bit of milk if I fancy it but most of the time I'll just have it black. So the omelette's ready, so I'm just going to try and fold it. This is a bit that I never, <laughs> I never get this very well. And then try and pour it onto my plate. There we go, the perfect summer omelette. This is honestly one of my favorite breakfasts because it's just, really light, easy to make, you can literally throw anything in the fridge. I find it a really good way of using it like veggies, for example, the courgette was just left over from a bolognese that I made. Um, yeah, and it's just ideal to go in. Honestly, courgette in an omelette is delicious. And then I'll just have it obviously with my coffee and then some water. I'd probably drink, I'd really good with water actually. I'd probably drink about eight of these a day. Um, since I started making a conscious effort to drink water, I definitely feel much better in myself. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and enjoy my omelette. So 
So I've had a fairly busy morning at work, just had quite a few calls and yeah, just had quite a bit of work to do. So I'm just going to take a quick lunch break now. I'm going to go out for a little walk. It's not looking too bad today, actually. The weather is not great at the minute. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to rain, which is the main thing. So I'm just going to go for a little walk around the block and get some steps in. a nice little walk I only walked for around 20 minutes or so which gives me then another few minutes to get some lunch so I normally have a 30 minute lunch break not that I always take it but I am trying really hard to be a little bit better get out do some steps on my lunch break and obviously step away from the computer and have some lunch so today I'm going to have a roll with some tuna and sweet corn in it I actually had this yesterday as well um so I've already made up the tuna and the sweet corn I'm just going to have that maybe with some like carrots and some crisps on the side too. So I'm having, these are just some wholemeal rolls that I got from Aldi. They're really nice um, and they are part of your healthy extra beer if you're on Slimming World. If you're calorie counting then they are 146 for calories for one roll. So I'm just going to have one of these and then in my sandwich box here, um, I don't need to butter it or anything to be honest because it's got flavour in here. I don't miss having the butter at all. So in here I've got um i did a tin of tuna in spring water with some sweet corn and some ultra light i think it's like 70 percent fat free um salad cream to a little bit of salt and pepper and then that will do me for two lunches so that will probably be for the salad cream half a sin for that because i think it's one sin for the tablespoon um and then this will fill me up for ages and then i'll just probably have some carrot sticks on the side So other than the omelette that you saw me have for breakfast, haven't had anything else. Um, obviously had my cup of coffee and then I've just been drinking some water. Like I said, omelettes keep me full for quite a long while. So it is um, half one now, so I'm just having my lunch. Like I said, I've got my tuna sweet corn roll, I've got some carrot sticks on the side and then I'll probably have a little snack this afternoon as well. So I'm just going to have another cup of coffee. I normally have two cups of coffee a day. So I have one in the morning and then I have another one around two o'clock after lunch just to get me through the afternoon. I must not have turned the mic on here but anyway I was just saying that I'm just grabbing an afternoon snack and having these crisps. They are actually lentil chips and they are delicious. Only 66 calories a pack so around three and a half sins and are the perfect little snack especially if you're out on the go as well. Honestly I would really recommend these. It's almost dinner time now. I haven't eaten anything else since I believe I showed you the crisps that I had earlier. Just had some water and the other cup of coffee as well, which, yeah, so I have done quite well on my snacking and stuff today. Um, so now I'm about to have dinner. Dinner this evening, we are having a chicken bake dish. Um, it's basically like a Moroccan dish and I'll serve that with some couscous and chickpeas on the side. It's honestly delicious. The flavours in it, so you make it with chicken thighs and then the flavours, it's got like the Moroccan flavours and then fresh orange and lemon. Honestly, it's delicious. You definitely need to try it and it only takes around 20 minutes as well. This is everything that you will need to make this evening's dinner. So you'll need a pack of chicken thigh fillets. So I use the skinless and boneless ones. They're much better because they don't have any fat on them and then they also cook quicker too. And then veggie wise, I've just cubed, well kind of cut into wedges, two red onions, a 
red pepper, a yellow pepper, orange pepper, whatever peppers that you've got lying around. Um, and then to make the sauce, so you basically cook the chicken in a bit of a sauce. For that, you will need some maple syrup. So you'll need two tablespoons of maple syrup, which is obviously higher in calories and sins. Um, then you'll need one teaspoon of garlic granules, one tablespoon of harissa, some um, about half a teaspoon of ground cumin, the zest and juice from an orange, and also the zest and juice from a lemon. And then I'm just going to serve this with some couscous. I've got 200 grams of couscous that I've weighed out, a tin of chickpeas that I've just rinsed and drained, and then I've also got 300 ml of chicken stock, which I've just made with a chicken stock pot. And then you just need a tiny pinch of the ground cinnamon too. So to start off with, I've just preheated the oven to around 190 degrees. So put that on about five minutes ago and then I'm just going to get everything ready. So to start off with, I'm just going to place the chicken thighs into a baking dish. Then you want to add the onions and peppers over the chicken. Arrange them in and around the chicken. Meanwhile, I'm just going to quickly mix the sauce together. So you want two tablespoons of maple syrup. So I know this seems really bad, but remember this is being divided between four portions. One tablespoon of harissa paste. If you haven't used harissa before, it's a fantastic um, paste. It's basically like a really spicy paste. It's fantastic in like Moroccan style dishes. One teaspoon of ground cumin. One teaspoon of garlic granules. A little bit of salt in there. And then lastly, the zest initially, and then the juice from an orange and a lemon. Once you've got everything in, give it a really good stir to mix all of the ingredients for the sauce together. Honestly, it smells so like spicy and fresh. I cannot wait to have this. You then want to get your sauce and pour it all over the chicken. Just mix it around so everything is completely covered. Lastly, just spray over with a little bit of fry light to ensure nothing sticks and burns. Once you've done that, then you want to pop it in the oven, in the middle of the oven, and leave it in there for around 20 minutes. To make the couscous, you just want to get your couscous, pour that into a bowl, the drained chickpeas, and then a tiny pinch of the cinnamon. You don't need much of this at all to be honest so just like a little bit for some flavoring and then you can also add some um fresh or dried mint if you have it i don't have any so i'm just going to add around half a teaspoon of some mint sauce just to add a little bit of flavor as well and then pour over the stock and give it a good stir So mix it up like so, and then pop a bowl or plate or something on top. And leave that for 10 minutes. So I've left it in there um, about 25 minutes. I put it in there another five because the chicken wasn't quite done. Um, so it should be done now. Just make sure the chicken is cooked. And then look at that. Oh, delicious. It's gone all the sauces as well. So you can just pile that then on top of the couscous.
So I've left the couscous here as well. I've stirred it a couple of times and then just before dishing up, just fluff it up and then it's ready to serve. cannot wait to get tucked into this. Honestly, the flavours are amazing and the chicken is just cooked so succulently. Mm. Can I do it? Yeah. Only one sin per person as well. So I'm just going to have a little snack this evening after dinner. If I can get in here. So what I normally do is just like to have a bowl of some fruit in. Um, so what I do at the start of the week basically is just chop loads of fresh fruit up. Put it all into a glass bowl like this into the fridge. I normally squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it as well. Just to keep it all fresh in there. So yeah I'm just going to pop some of this into a bowl. And then I've also got some pomegranate seeds as well. So I'm going to put that over the top. And I might just have that with a little bit of natural yoghurt. I've just filled in the food diary. I have actually shared this before and we'll link it down below if you want to see. Um, it's really handy. It was only around £5 from Amazon. Um, so what is, where's today? So this is today. It's, so you can see you've got all of the times of the day on there, whether it's free, speed, your healthy extras any sin so what i do in here is record my calories and my sin values so today was actually a really good day so i ended on five and a half sins i used my healthy extra b i only used probably only half a healthy extra a and ended on 1227 calories so overall a really good day so that is everything that I'm going to eat now. I'm probably just going to sit down this evening, watch a little bit of TV, probably edit this video as well, but I won't eat um, anything else other than just some water maybe. But yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this typical what I eat in a day video, especially when I am trying to lose a little bit of weight because yeah, I've had a, a few bad weekends, especially <laughs> recently where I just feel all my hard work sometimes go out the window. So I just try and stay on plan as much as I possibly can during the week. So yeah, hopefully it's given you some ideas around the kind of things that you could eat if you are calorie counting or following Slimming World. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.